सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन मॉडल मैच बॉक्स इन ब्लेंडर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले नाउ लेट्स के स्टार्ट इट टूटोरियल एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दी टूटोरियल गाइज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू इफ यू गाइज वॉन्ट टू प्रैक्टिस ऑन दिस प्रोजेक्ट फाइल सो यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस प्रोजेक्ट फाइल फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन दैट विल फ्री फॉर माई ऑल सब्सक्राइबर एंड यू विल ऑल्सो गेट द टेक्चर इमेज अलॉग विद दिस फाइल सो मेक श्योर यू डाउनलोड इट ओके एंड हेर यू कैन सी आई हैव क्लिक सम इमेज फॉर द टेक्चर सो हेर यू कैन सी दीज आर सम टेक्चर इमेज विच यू हैव क्लिक बाई माई सेल्फ here you can see and we are so we are going to use the same image texture uh, for this matchbox model okay so now let's start the tutorial so here you can see this is our final render okay and uh, here you can see this is our basically 3d model here you can see so first of all what i'm going to do i'm just going to delete everything okay i'm just going to delete it everything and uh, and before starting the modeling i'm just going to enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing on the left hand side basically so first of all i will just add one cube here pressing the shift a then i'm just going to scale this cube something like that okay and you can just go to a top view and you can just scale it something like that as well i think that much size is look fine to me yeah i think that's look great okay and after doing the scale make sure you apply the scale okay and then i'm just going to select the side two faces of this cube okay and then i'm just going to press the i for the insert yeah something like that and then i will just change the my origin point as a individual origin and i will just going to extrude it pressing the e inside something like that i think that's look fine to me then i will just press the p for the separate this mesh from the selection okay so now here you can see we have a separate mesh of this part and then i'm just going to hide everything pressing the uh shift as apart from this uh, separated part okay and then i'm just going to select the two faces and then we'll just do the bridge faces so you will see something like that and after that i'm just going to select the top face and then i will just do i for the insert something like that and we'll just extrude it inside so it will create a inside part of the match box basically yeah something like that okay and we'll just add the bevel modifier to adding little uh, smoothness into a corner part so we'll just add the bevel modifier and we'll just increase the segment something like that and we'll just to shade smooth and we'll just apply the add smooth as well make sure you apply the harden normals from the shading panel so you will get the better result and i think we should decrease little size of the bevel i think one is look fine to me yeah that's look great okay and then i'm just going to unhide everything and we'll just work again this part basically so what i'm going to do i will just use the same bevel modifier this part as well and right now i'm just going to increase this segment and then we'll just do right click and do shade smooth and we'll just add the auto smooth as well and make sure you also enable the harden normal into our shading panel okay so now that's look fine so here you can see guys our modeling part is done okay so now we'll just uh, switch our material preview and i'm just gonna add the texture into our this model so for that i will just add a new texture and here i will just uh, give the name as a top face something like that okay and we'll just click on this yellow button and here i will just add the image texture okay and now i'm just gonna call my texture so here i will just go to my directory where i have saved the that texture basically yeah so this is the top texture and i'm just going to select it okay so here you can see when i just add the texture it is going to cover all over the this box basically so which is we don't want so for that what we have to do we have to just go to our top view and here we have to just go to edit mode of this cube and then we have to just select the top face of this uh, match box and we have to just press the u and here you will see the option it's called basically project from the view so it will look something like that now i'm just going to switch my uh, uv editing section from here and i'm just going to see from the top view and we'll just rotate this texture uh something like that here you can see and we'll just scale it something like that okay so now we have to just do little manual uh correction here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to scale it something like that we'll just select the these two vertices and i'm just going to move it little bit here and same thing we'll do from the this side as well okay and we'll just move this part here to here and little bit inside yeah i think that's look fine and we'll just do same thing here as well yeah and we'll just select the two vertices and gonna move it here to here i think that's look fine to me and here you can see we have a perfect texture here okay which is look nice to me right now 
so now i will just add the texture into our bottom part so we'll again switch our uh, layout section i'm just gonna select the this bottom face and i will just create a new um, material here and i'm just gonna assign it and i will just create a new and i will just give a name as a bottom yeah something like that okay and then i'm just gonna click this yellow button again i'm just gonna import my image texture same like before yeah this is our bottom texture basically and then i'm just gonna my bottom view and here i'm just gonna select this bottom face and same thing we'll do here u and project from the view and here you can see you will see again something like that i will just switch my uv rating section and i'm just gonna again um, rotate this texture okay so right now i'm just gonna so now i'm just gonna do this process very quickly because we have already talked about this thing so you yeah so here you can see guys our bottom part is also look nice to me okay so now we'll just add the texture into our side part so same thing we'll do again here so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select my side faces and here will just uh, okay and here i will just create a new material and i will just give it the name as a side face okay and right now i will just select the other side face as well i'm just gonna give a same material here and then i will just click the again this yellow button and i will just add the image texture and same thing i will do here as well i'm just gonna call my texture and right now i'm just gonna my left view and make sure you select it uh, both faces i'm just gonna my left view and here i will just take the u and same thing i will do here project from the view and i'm just gonna switch my uv editing section and i will just place the texture nicely here to here the, here you can see i'm just gonna place the texture here yeah you can do manually as well because yeah something like that yeah i think that's look nice to me yeah so you can see this part is look also nice to me now everything look nice to me now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select the uh, that side faces basically these side faces yeah and i will just add the a new material okay yeah something like that and we'll just assign the material into this part as well same material yeah so here you can see guys our match box is ready our modeling part is done okay now what we have to do we have to just do little correction into our shader panel we have to just select the our top face and here we have to just duplicate our this texture basically shift d and keep it here and uh, then i will just add one node it's, it's called basically color ramp yeah and i'm just going to keep it here i will just plug this color into our fac and i will just going to plug this into our roughness so here you can see now we have a little control to our roughness so we can control from the here so here you can see yeah yeah here you can see now that's look nice to me yeah so we can do just little decrease yeah that's look nice okay and you can do also same thing with the our bottom part as well but uh, bottom part will not render so i'm not gonna do it into a bottom part so we'll just do only a, our top part so here you can see that will look something like that and that's look nice to me now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna duplicate my uh, match box but before doing the duplicate i'm just gonna uh, put into a collection so for putting the collection i'm just gonna press the m and here i will just create a new collection that name will be a match box basically yeah okay so here you can see now we have a new collection that name is match box and after that i will just press the shift a and i will just create a one instance collection of this match box so here you can see now we have a, a instance collection of this match box i'm just gonna rotate it some i'm just gonna rotate it something like that and keep it little bit down and we'll just duplicate one more time yeah something like that and we'll just rotate it something like that so now that's look fine to me and we can just uh, copy one more match box and we can just keep it down here okay but first of all we have to just add one background uh plane here yeah i think that look fine okay then i'm just gonna press the zero to my camera view and i'm just gonna zoom it little bit okay and we'll just add the a wood texture which is i have already into my 
material section so i think this is our wood texture yeah so that's look nice to me and for the lighting i'm using the sdri here you can see this is our sdri by the way okay you can use the manual lighting as well but i prefer the sdri because that give me a better result so now i'm just going to switch my you know render view so here you can see that would look something like that and that's look nice to me okay so after what you have to do you have to just press the f12 and you will see something like that okay guys so that's how you can create a matchbox in blender that is super easy okay super easy to create it and super easy to uh, adding the texture on top of this uh, model as well okay so i hope you enjoy this tutorial and you learn something new today and don't forget to download that project file into a description okay if you found that tutorial that uh, project file and that texture image is helpful for you so make sure you leave a like for me okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys Peace.